name is Hegenas and uh, I'm from Norway and uh, I have been suffering from MS uh, uh, since uh, 2007 and um, uh, Kristin Sater is uh, a lady uh, who was here uh, the first of, he, she was the first patient in RTMS hospital from Norway or from yeah and uh, she she is the reason why I chose uh, RTMS hospital uh, now uh, I have I have experienced uh, that I I my my um, my foot my left foot nei, my my toes I, I can uh, now uh, uh, move my my toes on my uh, left uh, foot uh, and I, my uh, sight is uh, much better I can read uh, on my cell phone without my glasses and uh, I my walking has improved very very much and uh, I feel stronger and uh, my balance is much better uh, since I started for three uh, four days ago uh, yeah and uh, and my brain is uh, is uh, better I can uh, my thoughts uh, are going uh, f faster. Hello everyone, uh, uh, we are very happy to see the progress of Hege who is a case of MS and who came all the way from Norway to Artemis hospital for uh, bone marrow transplant. Today is day plus 15 and uh, as we can see her, she is uh, smiling. Autologous bone marrow transplant in multiple sclerosis is a very good treatment option especially in uh, patients who have failed multiple therapies and this is a single one time treatment which can uh, lead to almost uh, uh, discontinuation of, of all the DMTs which patient already received. So and we can see that uh, this treatment is very safe and uh, uh, very well tolerated and uh, as uh, Though the progress in the in terms of improvement will be seen after some time, maybe six months or one year, but at least this treatment will not uh, prevent any further attacks of multiple sclerosis. So here uh, we wish her all the best uh, for her uh, uh, future, and uh, hopefully she will have uh, improvement in her uh, weakness, which already she, uh, she had developed uh, because of the multiple sclerosis and uh, one more thing we have uh, her attendant Venke so she came uh, with her and she took good care of her and we wish uh, both of them all the best and you here in Artemis you are uh, really living up to your slogan uh, that is uh, our specialty is you you are amazing <sighs> yeah I I feel you are work, working from from your heart. So, so I will always have you here. My name is Venki Astrid Gangsta and uh, I'm also from Norway. I'm a medical attendant for Hegenes. Uh, when we came to India, she had difficulties walking. She was sitting in a wheelchair and uh, uh, just by walking a few steps to the bathroom, uh, we had to support her or else she was uh, going like that. And uh, it was also difficult to, for her to do other things. Um, she has been through a tough treatment, but uh, doctors here has done a very good job. Also the nurses and their assistants has done a very good job. And um, uh, although we are still in India and uh, 
she just finished her treatment, uh, I have already seen improvement. Her walking is better. She can use this uh, stick or crutch and she can walk uh, um, through the room uh, much better than before. She's, uh, uh, as she just said, she's, uh, it's easier for her to think. She's thinking faster and I can see a lot of changes. So I'm looking forward to see her maybe after a year or so. Uh, we have planned to meet at a mountain uh, where we live uh, up north and um, I'm looking for the world to see her run and do all the things that she wants with her, uh, with her family. So, uh, we have here uh, Hege, uh, who is a life coach by profession. And we have Venke also. Both of them are from Norway. Venke, interestingly, also speaks Hindi, Sanskrit and Urdu also. <laughs> So, uh, they have come for treatment for Hege for multiple sclerosis from Norway and uh, after we did uh, extensive testing on her to see her fitness for this treatment, uh, she found fit to, for all our criteria and then we proceeded for the program. Overall her program, she did very well, she did not have any serious problems or even minor problems are also very few. And subsequently, she engrafted and she subsequently is being put on intensive physiotherapy program from here. And uh, she would continue this intensive physiotherapy program when she goes back to her home also. And uh, she would take care all post BMT precautions uh, after she goes back to her country so that uh, the treatment outcomes will be best. She has already uh, witnessed good improvement. In terms of balance, she has improved a lot uh, when compared to her baseline balance. And uh, her mind also, she's saying it is sharper than before. Um, uh, uh, yeah, the vision also is better. Yeah. So, we uh, do occasionally see patients who immediately improve after the uh, transplant. But usually the improvement usually takes after six, to, uh, six months to one year. But she has seen uh, improvement right away from now itself. So we wish her good luck and Venke also good luck and we would request her to say a few words uh, in Hindi. My dream is that I have a great deal with my husband and I have a great deal with my husband and I have a great Dr. Poen and Dr. Ragesh, they have treated me so well. I, uh, they are very, very professional and uh, I love them.